It's a story of survival, but it's filled with music. A Haitian man who was adopted into slavery as a child is visiting the area to raise awareness. News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields got a chance to meet Bill Nathan today. Well, Heather, it's a story with a sad beginning. A six-year-old Haitian boy loses his mom suddenly, is separated from his sister, and then adopted by a woman who makes him her family's slave. But the ending is much happier, and now he's marching to the beat of his own drum. The rhythm and beat of a drum has always been a constant in Bill Nathan's life. But unfortunately, a loving family hasn't always been. When he was six years old, Nathan was adopted into slavery and forced to live in filth and wait on his new family. One of his worst memories is having to walk miles with a five-gallon bucket to get water. She would spit on the ground. She said, I expect you to come back before the spit dries. So I have to run and get the water. And if not, she will beat me up. But even during the abuse, Nathan had his drum to keep him company. Every time I go to the water fountain, I took my bucket and put it upside down and started to play in the bottom of the bucket. When he was eight, he was rescued and taken to live at an orphanage. I ran with those two guys. I didn't think about taking any clothes, anything, and I ran. He ran and left that past behind him. He moved on, built a better life, but never lost his love for music and never forgot where he came from. Now it's time for me to go back and give back to other kids. Nathan now works at the boys' home he grew up in and helps other survivors. There is a 5K run and fundraiser to help the kids in the orphanage, and that's scheduled for Sunday. You can find more details on that on Wayne.com. And I wanted to take a second and thank you so much for all your work here at Wayne TV. Moving on, leaving us now, but I wish you the best of luck. And thank, thank you, you so much. It's, a bit, it's very bittersweet. I will definitely miss everybody here and everybody that I worked with, but me and my husband are moving much closer to, to family. and Which is nice. We're very excited. Yeah. So I've enjoyed my time here in Northeast Indiana. Good luck. We know you'll keep in touch. Yes, of Thanks. course. Thanks, Elizabeth.